First, we read the question. The climb to manometer shows height diameter is 96 millimeter, and the small diameter is 8 millimeter. Determine the angle zeta required to plow a 5 initial to 1 increase in liquid defle deflection L compared with the total deflection in a regular tube manometer. So read carefully. So 5 divided by 1 is equal L divided by the regular millimeter deflection is between let me show you it between here you see this line with this liquid line that is H this so I call it is deflection of the big YouTube. So L from here to here. Before L is before is here the liquid here. At the initial is this line. Now the liquid drop as the pressure go up. So L divided by the different here is equal five divided by one. So I just need to know the units of millimeter. Now I draw the diagram copy from the book. So first you need to put the uh, statement. So statement P1 the pressure on the liquid and the pressure P is go to here on the opening section here is data P2 so data P is different pressure between pressure 1 on the YouTube and divided by minus the pressure on the small opening here. So now let me write down L from here to here divided by H from divided by H is the change here is five divided by one. So let us read here be carefully. Data P equal P1 minus P2 is equal negative rho G A. The different change in high in the direction. So I set here is this one. So from here to here I call the one. And from here to here I call the two. So the difference is each. From here, from here to here is each two, and from here to here is each one. So the difference is each one plus each two. So actually, you can see here, you can see here very, very tiny the difference, very, very tiny the different length, very, very tiny. So that different change, very tiny, so very, very small. Okay, now let's do that. So D1 is from here to here, and D2 is from here to here. So D1 is smaller than D2. So D1 minus D2 is minus it's minus number negative so negative negative become positive so rho g d 
day two minus day one. So day two minus day one is different from here to here. It's each one minus each two. Each one is from here to here, and each two is from here to here. So let me see that. So each two from here to here is L time sine data is equal opposite side vertical because from here to here is equal here to here so L time sine data is equal each two here each two equal L time sine data and here you know the area between the tags is not flat is 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 the circle so the circle of this area the volume you know the volume so uh, since is the volume when I wrote the equation so here it is each one times each one each two so the volume from here is pi r square and here also pi r square so time each two equal pi r square time each one so from the big time pi r square is r is just d by two after square become d square divided by four pi pi r square times h is volume from here the deflection change volume and here the volume from here to here is d square divided by 4 pi times l you see the l so let me change here so as actually we do not call each two because we call it d two times l uh, be because the volume not from here to here the volume is from here to here is this length so i cancel pay cancel four and now the d2 length so I use small d2 divided by the bigger d2 bigger d2 okay so each one equal small diameter square divided by bigger diameter square times the length of this and now we can see from here we can see the change of pressure equal density of the liquid time gravitation force at gravitational acceleration time small d square divided by big d square l so we just put each one instead of here at each two from here we put here you can see that so data p equal rho g we take l common l out and equal small d divided by d square plus sign data we set that for equation first to find the sensitivity of the manometer we need to compare this to the deflection h a simple u-tube manometer using water density so let's see data p equal rho water g h so let's say that data p equation 2 equal data p equation y so we set up the equation this is right, this is left. 
So we die y by rho g l. Or you can divide by rho g h. Doesn't matter, okay? Let's follow what I set up. So rho g cancel out. Rho g, the g cancel out. But the rho is here, it's rho water. And here is rho this liquid. Okay, so let's say rho water divided by rho is S, divided by Sg. How you know Sg equal rho or the liquid by rho water? So this upside down, so this becomes Sg is y over Sg. You can see that. Okay, because, because, so, and here we just copy everything down, and here we bring Sg to this multiple Sg both sides, this cancel out, Sg become here. So, sens sensitive, the sensitivity of the manometer equal L over H. So we make it upside down. So when it upside down, reverse. So this is divided by Y, so it become Y divided by here. If here, if you make rho G H divided by rho G H, maybe we'll come the same way, you know. So if you can change this, maybe make it easy, okay? Let's say because data P equal data P from equation Y and equation two, rho G H divided by rho G H and both sides rho G H because rho G H divided by rho G H become one And here let L divided by H. L divided by H is 5. So bring down everything, we calculate for theta. So theta equal 11.131 degree. So for equation 3 here, so we plus the degree in here and plus the diameter here because time meter is time thousand from millimeter to meter so cancel out so after we solve this so this part is equal 0 0.2 at 0 0.2 is just 1 divided by 5 so we make it writing nicely become s sensitive of manometer equal 5 over Fg. Thank you for watching.